After you've powered down the laptop, you can begin by removing the 10 Phillips screws that help anchor the bottom housing on. Once these screws are removed, you can remove the Phillips screw that holds the door for the RAM on and remove the door itself, which will now just be held on with clips. Before attempting to remove the housing, you'll want to remove the RAM as a safety precaution, which is held on with metal tabs on either side of each stick. Pushing each tab away from the RAM should unseat the stick, and you should be able to carefully slide it out the rest of the way. Once the RAM is safely out, you can begin to remove the bottom housing by sliding an opening tool between it and the keyboard housing. You'll need to work your way around all sides of the laptop to unseat the housing completely, though you'll want to skip attempting to pry up the disk drive as it's not part of the housing. Once the housing is off completely, the battery will need to be unplugged. The clip can be slid out using a spudger, though it requires a bit of controlled force to get it out all the way. You'll then need to remove the four total Phillips screws located around the battery that hold it in. Once these are removed, the battery should be free from the housing other than the flex cable, which will likely be nestled into a little groove of its own in the housing. Before plugging the new battery in, you'll have to sit it into the housing the same way that the previous battery was in and replace the four screws that were just removed from it. After the screws are replaced, the cable will need to be laid into the same groove. Then the battery clip can be slid back in. There will be a little plastic nub on the top side of the clip that will have to match up with the connector on the board, which will make it easier to ensure the clip is in all the way. Once you're ready, the bottom housing can be put back into its place and clipped in. Then the 10 corresponding screws can be replaced. After the housing is secured, the RAM sticks can be replaced, though you'll want to make sure that the RAM is being inserted correctly, or you could seriously damage the RAM or the board. Once the RAM is inserted, pushing it downward will allow the metal clips to grab onto it and secure it in. The RAM door can then be replaced by inserting the side closest to the display hinge first, and then clipping the rest of it in and replacing the Phillips screw for it, finishing the repair. 